Hello, I'm Linda Aronson, better known as the Nonlinear Script Writing Lady, because I do a lot about nonlinearity. I'm an old writer, film, TV, fiction stage, and I know a bunch of insider tricks to help you improve your work. So if you like my stuff, subscribe and tell your friends, because this will make me do more and, and help you, because I really want to help. And, you know, sometimes I get distracted with all my other work. All right. One of the reasons audiences frequently give as to why they love long form TV series is the character study. Great because by far the majority of writers love writing character. It's usually plotting and structure that we struggle with. But the problem about writers loving character is that they can end up either with characters in search of a plot or with weak characters because they're struggling to master plot issues, they're distracted. So how can you stop this? Try this. Don't think of plot and characterization as two separate things. That's the trick. Think of character development as a plot line in itself, with plotting as being in two equal parts, the action line plot and the relationship line plot. So what do I mean? OK, just for a minute, let me explain. Action lines and relationship lines are my terms, my invention. Nobody else uses them, but I invented them and I use them all the time in my own work. And when I'm working with other writers because they keep us on track, they keep a good balance between character and action. And they're all in all really terrific. And so this is what I want to tell you this time. All right. The action line is the adventure. It's what's often known as the main plot. The relationship line is what's going on between the characters and inside each character. The relationships between the characters are traditionally known as the subplot or the background plot. Now, I really don't like this because, you know, it just it it, uh, it really makes you think in terms of the uh, character material as, as being inferior. Oh, also, what's going on inside the characters often called the character arc. These are all very imprecise terms. My motto in writing drama is character is is what character does. Character is what character does. Your characters must do things to demonstrate their character. They must react in the way that their character would react. Now, the trick is understanding that the two are separate but inter interdependent, the action line and the relationship line. So often action and relationship material are happening at the same time, even in the same speech or action. For example, a person telling their partner they're ending the relationships and walking out is both action and relationship material. You see that? Well, why is this important? Because you have to create action line scenes that force the relationship changes you want. Otherwise, you're not dealing with characters. You're not showing a character reacting to um, you know, what the other characters are doing. Think of the African Queen. Now, the point of that wonderful old classic <laughs> is that two utterly different people end up falling in love. How is a writer going to do that? You know, two utterly different people have fallen in love. Now, OK, the film is set in Africa during the First World War. One of the two, a woman, is a, pri a prim missionary. The other is a drunken riverboat captain. The missionary persuades the drunk to take her and the boat down a dangerous river to bomb a German warship moored miles away in a lake. Remember, it's, the, it's the First World War. Now, here's where the action line forces the relationship to change. These two people move from mutual hatred to love as a result of a, of a series of near-death experiences on the way. Every incident on the way forces a slight change in the relationship. You see what I mean? That's how you get from two people hating each other to two people loving each other. The action line forces the change in, in, in the relationship line. So you don't just choose any, any old action scenes. We, we, we do that, writers. We just love writing, okay? Just, you've got to focus yourself because if you just choose any old action scenes, that can lead to wooden characters just standing in the background watching the protagonist having adventures. Alternatively, don't forget the action line plot or you'll end up with characters in search of a plot. So you've got to choose action line scenes to force the relationship changes you want. Remember, character is what character does and the action line forces the relationship 
to change. The action line forces the changes in the relationship line that you want to happen. As you get more experience, you'll start to do all this automatically. Okay, that's all. I hope that's useful. Try it because it really will focus you. It'll make you write to your best, I think. It's a great tool. Subscribe, okay, and, and let me know if there's anything you want me to discuss and I'll see what I can do. Okay, bye-bye.